begin with Hugh. Hugh's calling from San Francisco. Hi, thanks for taking my call. Sure. Uh, the, you know, I've looked at all of these theories, or many of the theories, um, both uh, the official version and the conspiracy theories, and um, I'll tell you the main reason why I remain skeptical of the official version of events is uh, building number seven, which is the third building that also fell on that day. Uh, and, you know, I've noticed a lot of people don't even know that three buildings fell that day, um, but there was a third building, building number seven, and... Um, you know, I've, I've never seen a convincing explanation for how that building fell, and I'm wondering if Jim Meggs can give me um, some explanation. Um, there, there were fuel fires in the basement. Um, I just don't see that that is enough to cause a, a tall building like that to collapse. That, that was the third yeah. World Trade Center, World Trade Centers 1 and 2 and 7, a smaller but still very large building. Jim Meggs, go ahead, please. Yes, absolutely, and that's something we devote uh, quite a bit of space to in uh, in our book. And, you know, there's some legitimate questions there. FEMA did a kind of rushed early uh, report on the collapses, and they at that time weren't able to completely pinpoint the exact sequence of failures that uh, that led to the, the collapse of that building, and that kind of opened the door. You know, conspiracy theories love a vacuum, and, and any time that you can't explain something, you'll have a lot of people rush in and say, well, if you can't say exactly how the building fell, there's only one other solution. Someone must have blown it up. Well, that's the when Sherlock fact, Holmes theory. If, uh, <laughs> you know, if, if uh, there's no other plausible explanation, then the implausible must be the explanation. Right, but, you know, in a, but let's slow down for a second and make sure we get all our facts together. There, are, uh, there was another much more in-depth uh, investigation going on by NIST, and the results of that will be out in a, in a couple of months. But, um, but they've shared a lot of the, their findings as they go along. And what they discovered, first of all, is that the uh, World Trade Center 7 was far more damaged by falling debris from the North Tower than, than was initially thought. About 25% of the south wall of the building was taken out. Secondly, those fuel fires uh, weren't just in the basement. They were on upper floors of the building, in particular, the, the, I, I believe it was the sixth floor. And the most uh, damning thing, we talked at length uh, in our office of Popular Mechanics the other day with um, Vincent Dunn, the uh, retired deputy fire chief for the city of New York, who's the author of the textbook, The Collapse of Burning Buildings. And he explained that that building is so unusual in its design. Uh, instead of the vertical beams terminating in the foundation, many of them terminate in these broad horizontal trusses that, that span the width of the building, because the building was basically hollow from the sixth floor down. It was built over this big uh, Con Ed substation. So those trusses carried these enormous loads, far, far higher than we would see in a typical skyscraper. The combination of the, the falling debris, which greatly stressed the structure, raised the strain on, on these trusses, and then these fires that were felt, fed, in one case, by a pressurized diesel fuel line that raged for seven hours. Uh, in the, the, the current thinking of the engineers who investigated is, is more than enough to explain the collapse uh, of the building. And in fact, when those trusses failed, uh, that you, what you would have seen was exactly what we did see, which is the building almost collapsing from the inside first. So, you know, people say it looks like a professional demolition. Well, it turns out that most buildings, when they fall down, look like a professional demolition, because that's what happens when you remove the vertical support of a building. It collapses in on itself. Mm -hmm. Hugh, does that satisfy you? I, 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 there's probably much more. I know there's much more on the, on, in, in the book and in, on the website. I guess Hugh has left us. Anyway, uh, thank you.